Welcome to another adventure of On the Water in the Woods. Today's program is brought to you by Trijicon, maker of the world's best optics for the military and police and hunter. Visit Trijicon.com to see a full array of aiming systems. Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. Visit us at TravelOK.com. Norman Archery, providing archery products to over 1,500 dealers. Oklahoma Archer, serving Oklahoma's archery needs. Quail Ridge Hunting Association, go where the birds are. Oklahoma Wildlife Federation, one voice of the sportsmen of Oklahoma. Jane Ranch, over 100,000 acres for the ultimate hunting experience. Mark Heights Family Auto Group. Welcome to On the Water and in the Woods. Well, me and Cody are out here putting some shows together, hunting and fishing. Take some, take the time to look some earlier classics on the water and in the woods. I got one on. Alright, Danny, do your magic here. Let's see if I can't just get it out by myself. Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff wrapped up. Alright, there's that one. You got a string to unhook in here? Actually, I think it's a piece laying in the boat here. Is that going to work? All right, I think we may have a pretty good fish here. Yep. Come up, come up, come up. That's a nice one right there. Yes, sir. Blue. Yeah, so that's a good catfish. Mm -hmm. That's the second nice one we've caught this morning. Yep, come on, let it come down. Now we'll get you a string here. And with this now, he's just gonna pop it, hook right out. It means it's a lot easier on your hands. Yep. And on the fish as well. <laughs> like so. Yeah, all done. Ready to go to the next hook. He's coming around the front of the boat. A little nice flathead here. Yeah, another one. Yep. Another flathead. About the same size as the last one we caught. Stubborn lips on them, man. Mm hmm. Get that light on. They keep coming too. Going, boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to step on one of them fins. They'll allow me to go through my boot real quick. Yep. All right, that's it. Son, I mean, we ain't come back with no more than two at a time. Up at the. We may have a good run going this time. Yes, sir. 
Well, as you can tell, we've had a great time catfishing on the Yazoo River, Mississippi. Y'all don't miss our show starting next spring, 2003, On the Water in the Woods with Cody and Cody. Now, in between running our lines, we like to come out here and catch a little bit of frog, you know? Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. There, by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. When you're ready. Great shot. Brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Don't miss our show next spring. <laughs> On the water in the woods with Cody and Cody. Today we're at the Yazoo River in Mississippi, fishing for blue and ca <laughs> Now I gotta say the same thing, man. Let's get into the action right now. That's, no. Okay. Here, hold up, okay, hold up. Uh, run through it, just run through it, just say what you're gonna say. All right, welcome to today's show. No. Well, well as you can tell, we've had a great time fishing on the, nah, I don't miss <laughs> I'm walking, I'm like pivoting. Like I've got my feet prints set. <laughs> Let's go see if we can't catch some right now. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go see if we... I still can't remember what I'm supposed to be saying. Let's, Let's get on the water and check those lines. Let's get on the water and check those lines. Let's get on the water. Let's get on the water and check them. All right, here we go. You yeah. said catfish, not blue and flesh. All right, my bad, I know. You think I'd give it right now? You right. said it like eight times. Right? Here we go. Set up. All right. And here we go. 
Huh? Did I say hi before? Yep. So just kind of twist them around like that? Welcome. What am I supposed to be saying? Welcome to today's episode of On the Water in the Woods. Woo! Good shot, man. Go get it. Man, that's a big one. That, had a, that good shot, man. Well, here's one of the 15 I can get today. It was one of those lone dove. A lot of times we, you may catch them coming in in groups, but that one came in alone. Look at all, there's three over there. Wait on him. Three out, man. Oh, he's too far. Good shot. Good job. That, that's the way to do it right there. Oh, yeah, good shot. All right. There's another one. Oh, yeah. We had one right on top of us, landed in the water, and one just fell down right over here. It's like war zone out here. <laughs> no kidding. No. Nope. Yeah, I took too far a shot. Take the one on the inside, Cody. How does that happen? Hey. There we go. Who got that one? Did you hit that one? I don't know. All right, you shoot. I'm going to go pick my bird up. All the birds that we're shooting right now today are all the local birds. They're a lot smaller than this year's hatch. And uh, once a cold front starts coming in from north, it'll push those birds down that are staying up north. They hatch and earlier up north. Uh, and so whenever that cold front comes in, it pushes those birds down here, and then once the cold front gets here, it pushes our local birds further south. So that's pretty much what we're shooting right now is just the locals, and later on in the year we'll get into some of those northern birds. <coughs> I can't believe, man, that these that birds long. are everywhere. Coming down this tree line. Yeah, I know, and I can't load enough, quick enough to shoot them. I know. I'm like... <laughs> How do you do that, man? <laughs> Boy, that's a pretty bird. The dove action is hot out here at Grievers Creek. That's... Good Woo! shot. Good man. shot. That's awesome. Got him. Good job, Cody. Man. Another bird. Oh. Uh. Good shot. Good shot. Here it comes. Here they come. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Go. Oh. Man. Man. I just unloaded three shells. One thing y'all need to remember when you're dove hunting is get that plug in your gun. You're only allowed three shots on dove. Oh. Dur yeah. Woo. Good. Here comes four. Hold get up. Get ready. They flew past. Oh, man. we It is nonstop out here. I bet we had, what, 15, 20 birds right there? Yeah. I mean. Coming in just circling all around us. <laughs> it's hot. I mean to tell you, another one right there. Oh man. Here's the story. Our kites are a family. With nine lines of cars on I-35. First they started out with Chevy and Ford. Then they grew to offer Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep, GMC, Cadillac. New Pontiac. Great 
Charleston Enterprises was established in 1893, 14 years before Oklahoma achieved statehood. As a result, we've brought over 113 years of seed experience into our trophy magnet plot seed line. Using time-tested and proven crops, we've developed a plot seed line that will perform well throughout Oklahoma, including the southern United States. So whether you're planting smaller plots for lease land or larger plots for your ranch, Trophy Mag summer and fall mixes will give your land the ability to produce high quality trophies. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Hey everyone, Cody here. You may know MetroTurf for their great selection of lawn and garden products, but if you're looking for a sweet ride, make MetroTurf your number one dealership for all your outdoor needs. Specializing in the Cub Cadet 4x4, they'll help you choose the ride that's best for you. Whether it be riding on gravel roads, muddy inclines, or out in the pasture, the Cub Cadet 4x4 is one of the toughest UTVs available. So before you head outdoors, make sure you head out to MetroTurf today. MetroTurf, located at I-35 and Indian Hills Road. All right, here this comes two, Cody. <laughs> He's hurt, we got him. Man, we've been on birds all day, and they are really starting to heat up. We've got quite a few. We gotta be careful, the limit for dove is 15 a day. And through the entire season, you can only have 30 in your possession, meaning, say you go out and shoot 15 one day, the next day you go out and shoot 15, that's your 30. So either eat some of those and go out the next day and shoot some. Just never have more than 30 at your house or in, you know, anywhere that you are. Never have 30 birds to yourself. Get him? Yeah, you got him. I heard him drop. All right, man, I got him. Great shot. All right. <clears throat> Always remember, when you're crossing fences, Take your friend's guns. Don't let them cross with them. Good shot. Thank you. Safety first. Always. Now we can get back into them. Right over here. Golly, look at all them birds. What's that make for you? That's 11 for me. Man, I got 13. This day has worked out excellent. The sun's about down. Birds are still flying. We're close to our limits. The limit for dove is 15 a day. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. You or me? I me. got him. I got him. You got him. You got him. Woo! That's your 15. All right, here they come. Cody, get, get your last two. Those are my last two. Get him, get him. Good shot. Get him from the back. I think you got him. I got him. him. No, no. No. Yeah, yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. I got him. That's 15. That's my limit right there. What a night. What a night. Dude, we limited it out at in between. I mean, look at this. Light is getting low. Man, low light. <laughs> Both limited out right at the last minute. We limited out within an hour. Darn, Logan. First hunt. Five birds. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Thank Good you. job. Well, we had a great hunt out here at Grievers Creek Outfitters. We want to thank y'all again for having us out. We had a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all join us next time. Let's hit the water. Well, we're back on the water today, and me and Cody are back at one of my old favorite fishing spots. Hey, man, I remember seeing some video of you catching some bass out here. How many did you catch again? Yeah, when I was younger, I caught about 52 in a row. And uh, we got some footage of it. Let's go look at it and see if we can't do it again today.
As you can see, that was when I was a little bit younger. If you've got some funny or interesting hunting and fishing videos you'd like to send to us, go ahead and do that, but make sure it's a copy because we won't be able to send it back to you. Hey, you up for a little friendly challenge? Yeah. I bet today I can catch more bass than you can. Well, let's start fishing then. All right. First fish of the day. First little bank fish. When I was down here that first time and caught all them, that's about the size they were. A few of them were a little bit bigger, but they hit it real hard when they, you know, even as small as they are, they'll come up and just nail it. You think you got a monster on and something, pull something like that out. Better fish, too. Yes, sir. You're on today. That may have been that one that come up and popped yours in that same spot. Dude. He's a little bigger. I'm telling you, man, he just, <laughs> when he grabbed it, he wasn't letting go. He took off with it, too. He swallowed that one up pretty deep. Two for you. Two for me. None for you. Maybe a perch. It's a bass. Good deal. Uh oh. Good oh, deal. Coming back up. So, do you think it was the same fish that hit it? Look at that. He's got like a spot on his back dorsal fin. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Weird. You think that was the same fish that hit it? Yeah. I mean, pretty much the same spot. Fish on. Another one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a bad fish. He's alright. For years, our equipment has survived the Cody and Cody Challenge. That's right. From the hunt, point, beaming, goal tip, book tech, to the tournament. Matthew. Eastern, Alpine Archery, Martin, PSE. Oklahoma Archery has provided the best product and service for the equipment we use. Whether you're just starting or you're a seasoned hunter, we're stopped by Oklahoma Archery, I-35, OKC. Up there by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. Solutions. Trichicon. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Fish on. Fish on. He's pulling that thing all the way around the pond. Hey, he's mean. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way on around him. Not too huge, but he's nice. Little bass. They grow up. Number four, 
Yeah. Fish on. Another one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's spunky too, buddy. <laughs> what number is that? Seven. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, these fish get funner and funner every time you catch them. Man, he really hooked himself right in the top of his mouth. There's number seven. Guess what, Cody? What? That's the fourth one I've caught dragging them down these weeds. Yeah. Fish on. Look there. <laughs> hey, that's still five, isn't it? Yep. Number five. Whew. That's the fish I like. Those are the ones I like to catch, man. The little bitty one? <laughs> Something big. Something big is right there. Fish on. I got it. Yes, sir. That was the big double. Oh, double one. Look at there. Come here, fish. Woo! I knew this spot was going to end up being pretty good. That might be the, the spot of the day right there. I'm telling you what, first double of the day. Let's get these fish back in and catch some more. Matter of fact, when you walked over here, I saw something swim out of here. And then when I cast it over there, I seen something swirl. Yeah, he's one of the better ones we've got today. Fish on. Fish on. Oh. Well. Doggone. That's my seven. You got eight, right? Yeah. I almost had nine. Yeah, almost. Well, I'll have to say, you beat me this time. I'll have to do it again. Let's hit the woods.